Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be assembling this 3D printed fan. It is a 120 millimeters and it is printed in PLA. I'm going to assemble it, make a test stand, and wire it all up with the um, speed controller, the motor, parts from the test stand, and go ahead and test it out. So let's get started. And there we have the test stand for the EDF unit built. So now just wire up the speed controller and get the motor installed and keep moving on. Alrighty, here we have everything. We have the assembled fan unit and the motor's just held in here with um, four bolts through here. And uh, the shaft, there's some um, flat spots on it and there's 
grub screws or set screws that go through here on the side. We have a hole to get through the set screw through there. Now batteries, the motor that I'm using is an HET 873 590 kilovolts. And there's two packs here of uh, six cells, six cells, give me a total of 12 cells. And I'm using the cheap uh, speed controller um, just for testing purposes only. And uh, that's pretty much everything that I need to go ahead and test this um, EDF. I also printed one of these EDFs in ASA also, and this was uh, completely ASA here. And uh, it's a few grams lighter than the PLA one. Uh, I believe it's like um, nine grams lighter. But I would have liked to um, run this for you in this video, but I don't have the right um, size set screws that go in here. I went to my local um, Ace store and they didn't have the, the right ones that I needed, so I um, went ahead and ordered those. But I want to show you guys how far I've gotten so far on this. And the next time you see me with this motor, I'm going to go ahead and run it. And hopefully I can run it up to three, uh, 3,000 watts. I have a strong feeling this will hold up three, uh, to 3,000 watts or more but uh, 3,000 watts would be great. So, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And um, if you want the STLs for this file, I mean the um, STLs for this EDF, they will be, the link will be in the description. So, catch you in the next video with the test run of this motor and fan unit. Subscribe for more.